Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite X Plus One. I'm the man on the you sticks. You are. And we're playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Yeah, dude, the, the Odysseyist of the Odyssey. -ians. Now, me and Jonas had a little Odyssey off camera where we visited the microtransaction guy, and I actually bought a new piece of armor. Yeah, yes. we didn't spend real money. No, we did not. I had we had some uh, <laughs> uh, Cassandra bucks. Yeah, I had some Cassandra bucks, and we got this armor just like on a whim, and it's really good. Yeah, it fits absolutely. my my archetype. So yeah, it took away our extra poison damage, but it gives you more bars, so yeah, you can uh, exactly. It has very nice cadence. Okay, Jonas, bars. Use, use, using using words that are big. Yeah, I, re, I appreciate that. Using them wrong. No, dude, Cadence for his bars, like he's a rapper. <laughs> oh, it was verbal poetry, Yeah, Jonas. dude, that was, yeah, Cadence for his now, bars. Now, Jonas, that's the type of stuff that gets me going right there. <laughs> I love verbal poetry, Jonas. Yeah, dude, you didn't even realize I was dropping it. It was so poetic. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I got it a little bit, but... You were like, wait, what? That's wrong. All right, so we, we discovered the microtransaction guy, and then we discovered that these little uh, diamonds are a different color, and they might give us microtransaction money, but we're going to find out. This is a, these are super secret This is going to be things. a guy. I got to talk to this man. I'm going to have to fight him, and he's a giant snake. I hope so. Oh. My oh, it's this guy. guy. Is that Cassandra of Aeon? The eagle bearer? You messenger this dude of twice. Zeus? She who launched a thousand hearts? Alcibiades. I'm known by many names, but that last one sounds to be of your own making. My young friend Orchimethes here could mm. use your legendary talents to woo the object of his desire. Oh. You would have my eternal gratitude. What, do you want me to have sex with you or something, dude? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? What do you uh, mean wooing? Yeah, I'm a Mystheus, not some famed lover. Oh, we banged. She's being yeah. modest. I felt the strength of her sword hand. <laughs> Whoa! She never stays long enough to cuddle. <laughs> not when there are goats involved. This surprises <laughs> me. You it know was what goats. they say about Kefalonia. Uh, tell me what you're What's trying to do, joke? man. Have you ever heard of Braxila? The name sounds familiar. Who is she? Who is she? A poet blessed by Apollo himself. Okay. She describes the gods as if they were her lovers. Her lyre is a legendary weapon wielded in her hands. I want to meet her, but talking to a goddess such as she? Terrifying. Oh, nonsense. Usually you give a woman some flowers and she'll show you her flower. What? However, this <laughs> is Holy Praxi. crap, dude. She is not easily impressed. <laughs> of course. No ordinary flower will do. They need to be worthy of a goddess. I come to this coast every year for the poetry festival. Of all the beautiful blossoms, none match the scent and radiance of the coral rose. Fetch some, and all doors and legs shall open for you. <laughs> all right, I'm in. Wow. <laughs> dude, I'll find your coral rose. Yeah, soon. right? That's Holy nice. crap, dude. It's going to open some legs for me? I mean... That's... Cassandra hasn't had any trouble getting people to open their legs the for her. That's true. It sounds rare. Where can I find mm, this? Though? You would be correct. However, like all good things in life, these take more work than most are willing to expend. They're atop a nearby mountain. Okay. All right. Uh. No, no, I'm just going to go. Enough. Please, if you are as skilled with sword and heart as Alcibiades says, you'll return to me with the coral rose. As a Oh, it's best that I stay that looks at like camp he has a while you do the hiking. <laughs> You'd be Justin an easy snack hair. for wolves yeah, I know, right, dude? I'll return with the roses. He does have, like, Raymond noodles strapped <laughs> to his head. <laughs> All right, dude, we're off. Okay, new quest. Let's quest it up, dun, dude. Dun, dun, dun. A poet's legacy, dude. It's a different... It just Gather gives me coral XP. roses. Oh, I got to go find them. Oh, where are they at on the map? Oh, oh it's marked. Oh, I see it. 
Oh, it, it's up there. That's 182. That's close. <laughs> yeah, dude. That's a short mountain. Yeah, I wonder what these things do. We'll find out what they give us, what kind of treats. I'm thinking that they may, now that I look at them, they may be like the yellow diamonds, where it's just like a like part story. It's like a, like a trilogy. Remember the ladies I helped in the village, and I had to keep going back to like the same... Oh, and you had to, like, help them uh, defend off the village? Yeah. Them chicks? Yeah, and then I had sex with the one lady and brought her on my boat, and she was trash, so I kicked her off. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah she, uh... <laughs> the Cyclops. That's where I f the Cyclops. He swooned her, and then... <laughs> I was like, I've never had sex with a Cyclops before, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God! <laughs> That's why. There's wolf boys There's up here. There's freaking puppers all over the place, dude. Good boys. Hey. Get back, doggo. He has a good spider tingly paws keeping him on the... <laughs> yeah, dude. He's, he's fine. Oh, give me that leather. And I got a woofer. Dude, I want an Arby's chicken cord on blue sandwich. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I just, that's popped in my head, dude. That They're is not good for you. But <laughs> I <don't want> one. <laughs> what? That wasn't the reason. I wasn't. <laughs> I wasn't surprised because you wanted an unhealthy treat. I was surprised because of what the hell are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> I told no, you. No, I don't want to know your line of thinking. Dude, I, I, there's always a line. No, thinking. there is no line. That's like, like I don't know, dude. <laughs> there is no line. And there, I can, it makes perfect sense if I explain <laughs> it. All right, dude, just tell what the, okay, what the line is, so dude. What's the tomorrow line? is my last day of side hustle before a small vacation. And I was thinking about going to play <laughs> volleyball tomorrow night. And oh, then God. on the way home from volleyball, I have to drive by the only Arby's in Austin that I know of. And I was like, man, after I go play volleyball, worked off enough calories, I should eat that, that chicken corn on blue sandwich. God dang, what? that's good. I stopped there one other time. Did you know this? I mean, it made me you have a penis, it. right? What? You have a penis. Yeah, right? dude, I got one of those. And it's big, right? Uh, I Whoa. Mean, that's subjective. <laughs> <laughs> you notice people who can watch this. I know. I'm it's going right. up on the internet. Yeah. I mean, eh, you know, it's subjective. <laughs> I'm just being an asshole. And yes, it's fucking arm arm length. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> oh man, no, I was just saying because that was like that's like what women do when they think, dude. Well, they have trains of thoughts. Uh, trains of thoughts. Yeah, like that was like a thought process. It was like a train running through the locomotive. No, I mean, yeah. Uh, I, you're, you're right, Jonas. I shouldn't. I shouldn't degrade women by saying that they think like you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, God knows anyone who thinks like me is a damn deviant. How many more? Of these uh, you already do I... got it, dude. It says bring the flowers to him. Yeah, but like, I keep running Maybe across you'll more. You get more legs spread if you bring more back. Yeah, dude, I wanted some for myself. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Can I get my legs spread, juice? Huh? Trying, to, trying to spread Please, some with... legs. I need all the extra roses to spread the legs. Well, that was easy. I fought off some dogs. I don't know if you knew about them. Dude, I wonder what we get. So we have, what, 71 uh, Cassandra bucks. We'll see if they give us more Cassandra bucks. No, I don't think it does, but here we go. We'll see what he says. Because it, it, when you look in the rewards, it doesn't say Cassandra bucks. Oh, savage. It just said dude. experience. I found your coral roses. You're back. That, that's perfect. The roses are perfect. Oh, look at the luster. The fragrance. Now, you must deliver them to What? Yo, fam, I gotta do all of everything. You're the one who has to come to see her. You don't pay me to give. You didn't pay me to give her the flowers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you that didn't pay me. That was not what I was hired for. You give them to her. Please, I'm much too nervous to speak She's to gonna her. open her legs to I you, dude, when you give her the flowers. Here, You're gonna bag his, <laughs> his lady friend. <laughs> the T T TNT Dynamite deviously nods his head. Uh, I'm no poet. Read your own poem. I'm no I'd poet. I'd say it all wrong. I'm a mystios, not a poet. Then uh, would you at least deliver the flowers while I rehearse? Fine. This guy is Fine. a... The rest is up to you. Okay. Not. She's at her tent. It's right there. Go give them to her. 
Wait. literally like five feet away. <laughs> She's right over there. And you're going to have me deliver the flowers. I have flowers for you from Orchimedes of somewhere. Did I not tell you to get the wine five minutes Wait ago? Wait a minute, what? <gasps> Whoa. Cassandra Vallis. C-block. May I introduce you to my dear friend, Praxilla, Apollo's oh. muse and mistress of the golden strings. Your Praxilla? Didn't expect an aged bard. Mercenary of Ida. She's a bard, too. Yeah, Jonas, I'm a bard. She's a bard. We're all bards. Age doesn't concern me. Only drag me. Yeah, that sounds about right. Or... <laughs> Or mastery takes time, John. That's that's some stuff right it there. I would, would be say. Foolish of me to assume a master of the craft would be young. Praxila, this is Cassandra Vaiad, eagle bearer, messenger of Zeus, launcher of a thousand. Cassandra, Kaka, cast stone and light alike, leaves ladies and lads a light alive, ailing women and ostrog men cling to her side. There, is that, that your? She just wrapped Look a couple bars. I was gonna say, is that your bars, dude? Soldier, a Spartan, a thorn in the side of tyrants. She who dares challenge Poseidon, Alcibiades. This one, I'm keeping my eyes on. The poems she writes about me are never so kind. She has. I have flowers for you. Poems They're for you already. They're not for me. They're from uh, Orchimedes. He's right over. <laughs> <laughs> He was over there. He scurred. Rose. <laughs> I'll have to get my servant to add these to the pile. Ooh, she's Ooh. getting all the. You should be more grateful. Flattery does go far with Doesn't me. Doesn't go far with me either. No, yeah, I I'm, also I prefer hear actions to easy gestures. Where is that servant girl? I swear her head must be rattling with rocks. So we thought that her legs were going to plop <laughs> up and she threw them on the ground. <laughs> I wish she'd rattle my oh, rocks. This is missing. That idiot must have taken it with her and run off. Ahaikos. Ahaikos is Praxila's legendary liar. No. Oh. They set it down after tuning moments before you arrived. I can't go on stage without Ahaikos. I did I see to find this stupid hurry. instrument. We need to get that liar back. Mm, you're a liar. Please, <laughs> without Praxila getting <laughs> everyone's juices <laughs> going, this festival is just a bunch of young men measuring the size of their... Verse. Oh, I get it. who's got the biggest bars? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, who do you think is behind this? Oh, uh, yeah, who's behind this? <laughs> who is behind you? The liar was it. Stolen. They could be working together. Oh, and he seemed like such a nice boy. Alcivia this invited a viper into mm -hmm. my tent. Is there somewhere they could have taken it? It's a poetry festival. There is no better hub for shady trade. Uh, why this is it liar special? was special. Is it magic? Can you play another for your recital? Perseus without winged sandals or a mirrored shield was just a man. Would he have the same legends, the same mystery if he performed each task without a legendary weapon? Ooh. It's very valuable, both in significance true, and in drachmi. All right, I'll go find it. I'll find it. the thief and return the liar. All right. <laughs> Find your thief, you know. We did it. <laughs> we did. I was it. waiting for you to. It was going to show you what you got as a reward. Yeah, that's not important to me. <laughs> I just want to keep moving. All right. Uh, twelve thousand experience. Come on, show it, dude. I got a little spo liar. It's liar, liar. Where's Jim Carrey? It's the claw. It's the claw, I guess. I gotta pick it now or something? No, I don't. It's eight meters away, dude. What do you mean? Explore the camp to get some information. Oh, it's one gotta of these. Gotta talk to all these people. They're all like, I think I saw Joseph carrying it to the campfire. Oh, let's see if I can burn anything up. Ooh. You talk to the campfire. The campfire's like, I didn't see anything. I've just been burning wood all night. There's nothing to burn up here. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me, sirs. What do you know? Anything about a liar? What do you know about this liar, sir? Do you know a man named Orchimedes? Orchimedes? Orchimedes. That's the kid who hangs out around the vipers. Yeah, I know him. He's been coming to the festival for three or four years, maybe. The vipers? Who are they? You know how it is. People feel small, so they band together to make the rest of us feel smaller. They took over the temple of Athenaitonia a while back. 
Now it's hard to take the road without being held at knife point. Do you think that's where Orchimedes would take a liar? <sighs> Hope not. For his sake, the Vipers are dangerous. If he did have the liar on him, they'd probably rough him up for it. <laughs> He's one of those kids that'd be keeping around for fodder, if you get me. Uh, all right. Thank you for your help. Hope you find the liar. Yeah, I'm gonna go. Watch that out way, for the Vipers. Oh, I'll find the liar. All right, let's go. Let's go get this stupid kid away from the Viper gang. Because that's a name for a gang. <laughs> yeah, dude. Sounds like a, a gang and the Goonies. <laughs> what? What is the Goonies, Jonas? Dude, don't even play. <laughs> what is that? I know you playing. What? <laughs> what? You know what the Goonies is, bro. Jonas, would I lie about something You wouldn't. So you sensitive? don't know about anything. Wow. Jonas. That's what I have to say. His hot take is I'm an idiot, apparently. Jonas. His hot take is I'm an idiot. <laughs> Jonas apparently thinks I'm a moron. I don't think you're a moron. No, I do know what the Goonies is, a Jonas, in your words. Yeah, it's, um, I just, good. Nah, it's passable. Yeah, I mean, it loses its, uh, it loses its luster. Where's this guy? Up, 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 up. There he is. Right up the road from daddy. Hey, excuse me, lady. Do you have a liar on you? Someone, please help! What? You're that servant. The one who disappeared at the same time as the liar. Ah, I can explain. Convenient. Or he made this talk to me into it and said he'd use the drachmi to buy my freedom. When we escaped, he said he wanted to bring the liar to the vipers. I said no. The viper said yes. <laughs> so, the vipers have Orchimedes and the liar now. As for you, you can go back to Praxilla and apologize if you really want help. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of my face. Now I gotta go handle your dirty work. God dang servants always get in the way. Every time I need to do anything, my servants are in the way. Yeah, Jonas, man, don't you hate it when your servant uh, like wakes you up in the morning and you're like, servant. Servant, bro, servant, come on. Like, do I come to your house and wake you up? Okay, well, that I'm in a, be I'm not supposed to be here. Oh, so this is just like a, another fight, dude. All right, I'm cool with this. How many guys are there? Seven. There are quite a few. Quite a few boys. Quite a few boys here. Please show me the last boy. Okay, that's not the last the boy. The last boy scout? Featuring Richard Gere and... No, it was Bruce Willis and... and uh, Damon Wayans? Damon Wayans, yeah. I believe. <clears throat> yeah, dude, he was like... All I remember is the first scene from that movie. Oh, yeah, dude. I remember that his daughter was a real bee <clears throat> in it, too. I just remember the football gunshot. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, anytime somebody pulls out a gun on the football field and shoots people, it'd be a pretty memorable moment. <laughs> this shit was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it was. I was like, I need to shot you on the football field. Yeah. Could you come over here and fight me? <clears throat> I'm being a jerk, dude. I was trying to scope out the, the area, and you effed it all up. Now I got to kill you. No, I'm not right here. Stop. All right, you know what? I'm going to fight him then. Dude, do it. No, dude. He's asking for it. Hey, Viper, guess what? Get viped. Ooh, the crit. Ooh, look at that guy. He's like big. He's a big man. Okay, you got me. Hey, guess what? You're getting smacked. You're a big man. I carry a big stick. Oh. Oh my god. I hit him right in the <laughs> stuff, dude. Skull crusher. Dude, you really made him pay. You're never ready for it, dude. How did you fight through my attacks? Okay, alright, I see you. 
Oh my god, Jones. Dee -dee 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 -dee. These guys There's a lot do not of play. Ah. Oh. You're making pay, though. I don't know. I don't mind fighting like a bunch of guys. Yeah, you have half health, so you don't want to keep that in mind. You can heal. That's fine. Smack. Smack it. Smack. Oh, wow. He was that delayed fly. He did have some delayed fly. <laughs> I've never known anybody's fly. Did he just punch me in the face? I think he did just punch you in the face. Now you get killed by my snake thing. Oh, you robbed him before he fell down. Got good. bandit bracers. They look really good. <laughs> they look really good. Yeah, right? they're gray. They didn't look good. Okay, come here. Back me. That guy's already half health coming to get you, so that's, that's good. Perfect. There's a tablet in here, too. Okay, stop. Now, see? Now you've done something wrong. That dude has a doorknob on his staff like he used to. I hope you're ready to die. Hey, what's up? He hopes you're ready, but you aren't ready. I'm ready. I'm not ready. I'm ready. You ever play Warcraft 2? Uh, I didn't. Zub zub. I'm not ready. I'm ready. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That. I do. Ready to work. <laughs> yeah, ready to work. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I think that was the first game I ever played, like, online against somebody or with somebody. And everyone online was so good. Yeah, dude, because I was playing with a bunch of them. Never mind. Um, I know <laughs> what you were going to say. That. Yeah, what dude. was I going to say, Jonas? It's the same thing about StarCraft. It's very <laughs> much played by Koreans. And they are ridiculously good. good at it. Like, the Korean StarCraft players are, like, ridiculously good. Like, you ever see them play? They are really it would be like I'd start building like a barracks and all of a sudden I'd be getting attacked and I'm like how the hell did they already get enough resources <laughs> to attack me I'm still building my thing to get dude they re-released that for Windows I think because the problem with the old one I don't know if I don't know if you ever knew this it ra the the game ran based on the speed of your processor yeah. so if you tried to run on like an emulator like on present day before they released it the computer would run so fast because the, the processor was way faster than it was ever meant to run it was running on like a 386 or a 486 way back in the day and uh for those of you who don't know, that's before they counted stuff in gigahertz. That's 386 megahertz. <laughs> that's before they had gigahertz that computers. Exist. <laughs> what? That should have never existed. Right, dude. And uh, and like so, but now they've officially like re-released Warcraft 2. Like I thought about getting it because that game was so much fun. Uh, yeah, but you you know it's, it doesn't hold up. I'm sure it doesn't, dude. It really wouldn't. And then, once again, you got people... All the strategies for that game are out in the open now, man. So now you're just going to have people who are clicking super fast. Yeah, I would just play against the computer probably just for fun. Yeah. I find that playing games of that nature in competitive is not as much fun because it's basically who can kick, click faster. Oh, and it's stressful as can be, dude. Yeah. Like, who can optimize their clicks better than the other person. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah. Oh, tablet, go figure. Yeah, dude, I don't know where the hell that um, is. Yeah, but I don't know. I thought about it. I didn't see how much it was. It, it's probably on Steam. I should look it up now I think about it. If it's only like 10 bucks, I'd buy it. it might be. I had, I had my original copy of Warcraft 2 for a long time. I think I might still have it in the expansion. Warcraft 2? Yeah. On disc. Those Remember those CD-ROMs I used to get that had games on them? They don't do that anymore. <laughs> Dude, you know what I saw at the Goodwill yesterday? A Divix copy of Billy Madison. Do you remember Divix movies? Uh, no. It was like Redbox before Redbox. Like, you, you bought a disc of a movie, It would, and it only cost like $4. What? But you had to have your, your DVD player had to be Divix enabled, and you had it hooked up to a phone line. And it would let you watch the movie for 48 hours. Then it would stop letting you watch the movie. What? And you just threw it away. It was like disposable rentals. Why, Why would we need to add more trash Well, this things? was in like way before like... This is like when the internet was new and DVDs were new and all that stuff. So people didn't think about that stuff. Yeah, it's, it's a giant waste. <laughs> giant, giant, giant. Divix. You just threw it away? Yeah, you could, like, pay for an extra, like, two days, but that was really it. 
All right, so whatever happened to laser discs? Dude, those things were sweet. You know what was funny? <laughs> you watched I, I was, one. No, I haven't ever watched one. Somebody I knew had one. But uh, it was funny. Uh, Couchman Pete was that was on one of our videos. I uh, I was with Couchman Pete, and he was talking to somebody. He's like, I was at the Goodwill, dude, and I saw this thing. It was like a giant like record, but it said like, it was like War of the Worlds or something. And I'm like, was it a freaking laser disc? And he was like, I don't know. I took a picture of it. And I'm like, I oh. took a picture. Yeah. Of and it. I was like, it's a laser disc. Oh yeah, he's like younger than us, right? Yeah, not like not super younger than us, but yeah. Yeah, he is definitely younger though. All right, I killed everybody in there. That wasn't Yay. too hard. Cause I'm a freaking beast, dude. Let's see what this man over here has to say. I'm talking. I'm sorry, sorry. Would you, I don't know what you're running from. You scared me. Warcraft 2 Battle.net is only 9.99. Yeah, but I'm about to buy it. <laughs> I'll put it on the channel, dude. <laughs> yeah, go. You have fun with There'll that. There'll be no views. Malaka, what is GOG.com? They you to steal Praxila's lion? No, they Good gave me the confidence Jones. I was lacking. We would drink it's what? and complain about poetry at after. the festival, and I let slip that Praxila's my mother. What? Praxila's your mother? Wait, she why is. are you trying to f your mom, dude? She abandoned yeah, that's me weird. And my father when I was a child. Oh. Something about following her destiny to be a wandering poet. My father, Achaikos, built the lyre for her as a wedding present. She loved it more than us. I just... I wanted her to feel the way we did when she left. Priscilla, what... Uh, got what she deserved for leaving you? Or Priscilla had the right to walk her way, her own path? Uh, Praxila good. was born with a calling for the arts. It was her right to follow it. Yep. She should have thought of that before she decided to have a family. I wish my father had never made her that liar. Speaking of Aww. the liar, I know you have it. Malaka, I do. But it was damaged in the struggle. No. Oh. Wait. Is it broken? Before you leave, I need some advice. Should I talk to Praxila? I don't know what to do. Uh, leave. I'm, it's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of her face. Uh, no, go Don't talk to her, dude. As yourself and talk to her. Maybe she missed you and didn't know how to come home. I need time to think about everything. My father, my mother, my friends. Please don't my tell Braxila who I am. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh, Justin, cry me or whatever. Uh, GOG is good old games, Jonas. It's right up your freaking alley. It's a bunch of, like, uh, retro games they sell. It's similar to Steam, except they kind of uh, focus on, like, uh, emulators and ports of classic games. Oh. It's, yeah, it's only 10 bucks, man. I'll probably buy it. I mean, if I get, like, a few hours of play out of it, dude. Oh, man, you 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 spend your money however you want to, dude. I spend $80 on a, on a, <laughs> on a, a drawing of your fake character. A drawing of my fake character. Way to, you always know how to add the pejoratives in there, Jonas, <laughs> to make a guy feel real, real good, good about, about himself. himself. <laughs> yeah, good job, yeah. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I did for my fake character. <laughs> the frick, dude. <laughs> Nah, dude, it's your, it's your bomb A half elf female bard chick. You should just get like one of the masks made, like of the old presidents. You can wear it while you're over there. Uh, no. You can wear a dress. Jones. What, dude? Just there's trying to help you get character. There's nothing wrong with wearing a dress. No, there's not. I'm not wearing a dress. I'm sure you'd wear a dress nicely if you decided to do that. Maybe I would, Jones. I would not like to see it. What? I would not like to see it. You wouldn't come and see me at my dress recital? <laughs> if I, I decide to do like I, a fashion I, I, show, I go watch that. <laughs> yeah, see, I'd you get would. A recording of that. You and me went to the drag show once. Didn't yeah, you? dude, it was fun. I, it was funny, dude. It was a good time. All right, let me see what this lady has to say. I got your loot, liar. I was whatever. able to get the liar, but not in one piece. Oh, thank you. She's oh, like, you're a liar. Mischief did you get yourself into? Three hundred dollars. Yeah, $300. Boy. All right, so I, 
So I can talk to her again if I wanted to, but we'll probably do that on the next episode. Yeah, because that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe while you're at it. Lie to your friends. Tell them to come see us. But for Jonas. And TNT Dynamar. We are out. <laughs>